My name is Kevin Bailey, and I'm a computer network technician at Cedar Bridge Academy. My name is Colin Searle. I'm a senior project manager with Systems Business Integration. A computer network technician uh, is responsible for uh, installing, maintaining, repairing, diagnosing problems uh, associated with uh, computer networks uh, that involves a number of different items, including connection of, uh, to customers' business systems, the World Wide Web, and uh, remote offices. I chose my job because I wanted to change my careers, and the opportunity presented itself for me to go back to school, which I did, and I took up computer network engineering. Computer network technician uh, will typically start doing basic configurations, maintenance of uh, customer equipment. Over time, they can work all the way up to a chief technology officer position. The skills required are relatively basic. They are good communication, analytical, troubleshooting skills, as well as a good understanding of financial background. The best part of my job is interacting with people, help them solve their issues, and when I do that, it makes me feel good, it makes them feel good, and everyone's happy. The requirements for a computer network technician are essentially a high school uh, graduate. Uh, we do recommend that a college or university uh, would be a preferred entry level as it provides more background for the business side of the industry. We do also recommend that as many certifications in the industry be pursued as possible. Typical examples are Microsoft, Cisco, Novell, Citrix certifications. I went to Tampa, Florida at a technical school which is called Tampa Technical Institute and the course was two years and uh, I achieved an associate's degree in computer network engineering. We find that experience is very helpful. Uh, people that have had prior experience, particularly in business and uh, even in the industry itself, uh, it really helps people to understand the, the nature of the business environment and what their specific interests are and whether the career they're following fits in with those interests. Many of the uh, information technology providers on the island offer an apprentice type program uh, for people wanting to enter the industry. Typically that involves uh, working with the company, uh, obtaining training, pursuing certifications, and it is an earn while you learn type of program. I would recommend my job because it's an interesting job, it's exciting, it's on the cutting edge of technology, and this is the way the world is moving. The field is vast, you can move in so many different directions, and it's an exciting field to be in, and the sky's the limit. There's really no limit to where a computer network technician can work. Uh, typically, they would work at a, either a customer or a computer consulting company, such as Systems Business Integration, they can also move into other areas of the information technology industry. Uh, website development, multimedia development, application development are fairly typical activities. Uh, many of people also move into the business themselves, uh, so typically will shift from information technology specifically into related activities such as financial management. My experience with the National Training Board was one which enabled me to continue my studies by getting a financial grant from them. And I advise anyone to use the National Training Board as it is there for us. A word of advice to uh, potential apprentices. This is not a nine to five environment. Uh, information technology is a very demanding industry and requires a considerable amount of commitment it also requires a lot of interest in computer technology. People that get into the industry simply because they view it as a good opportunity to make money are rarely successful. The most successful people are those that really enjoy the industry and are fascinated and intrigued by the possibilities that it offers.